It's Wild Wednesday, and this month, the Tulsa Zoo is celebrating its 95th anniversary. In that time, the zoo has helped a lot of animals through its conservation program. All right, well, let's head out there. Jordan Tidwell live right now with all the information. Good morning, Jordan. Guys, good morning. The rainy weather from earlier moved us inside, but we still have an exciting segment for you. I'm here with Rick Katarski with the head of conservation. Tell me about just in those 95 years, the priority of conservation here at the zoo and kind of what you've done. Yeah, it's a big priority. It's our main priority. In fact, when guests come to the zoo, every time they come, part of the proceeds goes towards us trying to help animals in, in the wild. And so our program officially started back in 1997. Before then, we were probably doing work. But since 1997, we've contributed uh, over $750,000 to conservation and saving wild places and wild animals. And um, we've just been so uh, happy to have people come every year and support us. Um, we have around 15 programs right now that we support annually, and that work just goes to help save animals and to find that balance in wildlife. Um, you know, everything's connected. So. Yes, and so when people hear conservation, kind of what does that mean? What are some of the efforts that people can do? Oh, gosh, for conservation, they can do all kinds of things. I mean, one, like I just said, come support the zoo. There's other nonprofits that you can support. You can go out to a park and, and learn about wildlife. You can, you know, go and check out a book and learn about wildlife. Um, you can uh, contribute to the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. You can go to a national wildlife forest. You can go take a hike. Um, you could turn the water off when you're brushing your teeth. You can turn the lights off when you leave a room. I mean, Lots it's of things. countless things that you can do to, to ultimately help everything and every, everyone. Yes, and so we do have a star of the show this morning. She's Pikachu. Tell me about Pikachu and kind of, we snuck up on her earlier and she ran away, but we'll move slow and just tell me, tell me about Pikachu here. Yeah, Pikachu is a, a chinchilla. She's a year and a half old, or I'm sorry, she's, a, she's 11 years old. She weighs a pound and a half. Um, super cute. She's from Chile and the pro program that we support in Chile helps protect these species. Um, in 2016, they were listed as endangered. Prior to that, they were listed as critically endangered. So um, we've been supporting this conservation program in Chile since 2013. And um, they are a nocturnal species, so she'll sleep most of the day. And then in the evening, they'll come out in the wild. They would feed and, uh, on plant life and, and the things that the zookeepers give them here in, in her home here. Wow, so she sleeps just like that, kind of curled up most of the day. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, she'll move around and, and, and maybe get interested in a few things. And um, as people come and visit her, she may she may change her uh, her posture or move to a different uh, rock or something. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and so earlier you were giving me some kind of chinchilla facts. Tell me kind of, I know she can jump pretty high, higher than people would expect. Yeah, so her hind legs are twice as long as her front legs. And uh, it's reported they can jump up to six feet, which is pretty incredible. You ever seen that? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe today, but we'll get lucky. <laughs> and, uh, you know, people, when you first see a chinchilla, um, and if you're ever fortunate to ever touch one, they're so soft. And the reason being is because they have lots and lots of hairs. And so for humans, there's one hair per uh, hair follicle. But with chinchilla, there's any, chinchillas, there's anywhere from 80 to 100 uh, hairs per follicle. So yeah, it's and pretty so incredible. Any just last things on just the importance of conservation here at the zoo and the work that's being done? Um, yeah, it, I mean, it's just so much a priority for us. It's it's like that for all zoos in the AZA community. Um, like I said, when you come and support the zoo, you're supporting wildlife conservation. Um, chinchilla is just one of many species uh, that we support in the wild. The animals here that you come and see are the ambassadors, uh, the stewards that are that help tell the story of what we're trying to accomplish in the wild and saving species in, in uh, wild places. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today. I'll go ahead and send it back to you all.